Good morning, dear students and teachers. You are welcome to Grade Nine English. And today I'm going to explain a poem written by Robert Frost. The title of the poem is "Stopping by Woods on a Snow Evening." The title of the poem means somebody stops near the wood, near the forest, and in the evening, and in the evening. And that was snowing. It was snowing in the evening. So now the first stanza is, "Whose woods these are? I think I know. Whose woods these are? I think I know. His house is in the village, though. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. So here woods means small forest. So in the first stanza, the poet thinks the narrator or the speaker." Your the speaker is a traveler. Thinks that he knows the owner of the woods. He knows. He thinks that he knows the owner. You know the owner. O W N E R owner. Okay, of the woods. I mean, the speaker like. Only thought that he, us ko jo jungle kosko wala bani gura mala thasa. He thinks, you know, us thought that. And us ko gar. He also knows that his house is in the village though. Us ko gar. Us ko gar. Gaon ma sa? You think that? And uh, you will not see me stopping here to watch the woods fill up with snow. So here he means the owner of the woods, the owner of no, the forest. Let's say the owner of the forest. He doesn't know that the speaker, the traveler, is here, and his woods is full. His woods, you know, are fill up with snow. His his woods are covered with Eyes. He doesn't know that. So in the first stanza, ma, ke onse mane. Let me say in Nepali. Uh, title ma ke se mane. Beluga yu pare ko, you know, yu pare re ko beluga jungle ko chhoma rokinda. Jungle ko chhoma hi chhoma rokinda. Bande title sa. Ra first stanza ma uh, the speaker le, uh, the poet le bano. The words words these are I think I know. Uh, Khas kar speaker bande samle ya yeah, narrator speaker, you hey, know. Uh, the, uh, the person uh, who speaks in the poem, the speaker, actually, uh, this is the speaker or narrator. Which words? These are I think I know. The jungle kosko la. Mere bichar ma mala thas the jungle kosko bani. His house is in the village do. You man isko the jungle ka malik ko ghar gaon ma sa. So you will not miss see me. You will not you will not see me stay here. Uske this karan usne mala yah obiye ko yah rokiye ko thas hai na. To us, the words fill up with snow. Usko jun jungle, or the sabey yuhi yuhi dhaage kosa, kawar gari kosa. Yo kura usla thaa sahi na mane ra. First time, ma this is very straightforward meaning hai. Summary matlab saman le usko straight summary matlab mala bhaj chupai la. This pasi I will tell you and the symbolic meaning. I will tell you uh, quantitative meaning of the poem. Na, okay. Now second stanza. My little horse must think it queer. Queer mane ko strange. The Speaker, the traveler, let's say, is traveling just on a horse, and uh, the horse, the he is riding a horse, and the horse is small. Here, my little horse means here little, it means lovely horse. He, he loves his horse very much. For that, uh, my little horse must think it queer. My little horse, because to stop without a farm of near. Uh, today, the, the speaker. Has stopped without farmhouse near. Normally, generally, okay, the uh, stop uh, the speaker stops near the farmhouse. As a gora la, awesome malai wala. Meru sana gora lai, awesome mamani wala ki. As a farmhouse near, you know, farm farmhouse sahi na bori bori. Tar yeh ubi rahe ko sa. Kine to ubi gora mane ra the my house, you know, is thinking uh, is confused mane ra uh, speaker le banse. Between the woods and frozen lake, the darkest evening of the year. So today, darkest meaning. Yeah? The darkest meaning. Question: What is the symbolic meaning? Ke unse? I'll tell you later on. Tara. Second stanza, ma. Uh, the poet, uh, the speaker, let's say, believes that his little horse must think it odd. You know, very confused. The little horse must feel confused to stop in the woods. There is no near uh, farmhouse uh, near. You know, they are very very close to farmhouse. Gora bahan thau chahi na. Between the woods and frozen lake, the darkest evening of the year. Even dark boys go so. On the other boys go so. Tarapani, beach ma kine wasi gola kine to jungle ko chuma 
होना मेरे मालिक उभिए रोक घर नगे होम हाउस में नगे होने हर्स ने भी पक्क है हर्स भी कन्फ्यूज भग अचम मने को द पो नाउ द स्पीकर टक्स अबाउट ही ही ट्राइज टू अंडरस्टैंड द फिलिंग अफ हर्स सो ही गिव्स इज हार्डनेस बेल्स अ सेक ही मीन्स यर द हर्स गिव्स इज हार्डनेस बेल्स अ सेक टू एक्स इफ दैट इज सो मिस्टेक द वनली वर साउंड इज इज द स्विप अफ इजी विन एंड फ्लो डाउन इफ लेक अब यहाँ हर्स ने हियर द हर्स गिफ्स इज हार्नेस बेल्स अ सेक हल्ला आँच सो बेल हल्ला आँच है हार्नेस बेल हल्ला आँच तो कई मिस्टेक भाई कि गलती भाई कि समस्या आ रोक को लगी मेरे मालिक यहाँ द हियर द हर्स जस्ट गिफ्स इज हार्नेस बेल्स तो बेल घाटी में लाने बेल्स है हार्नेस जो अब लगाम हो बेल में अलग हर्स ने हल्ला आँच कि कई मिस्टेक भो कि प्राविधिक कारण रोक हो ओन्ली वदर साउंड इज द स्विप तैं अरुण कुछ साउंड छेन के इज द स्विप दैट इज ओके ओन्ली दउंड अफ विन साउंड अफ इयर हावा को मत स्विप हावा जा अफ इजी विन एंड डाउन इफ लेक अरुण कई साउंड छेन दैट इज नो साउंड इट अल इन दिस इविनिंग दैट इज दैट इज ओन्ली द साउंड अफ विन को है इजी विंड हावा को आवाज डाउन इफ लेक यार डाउन इ वेरी सफ्ट फ्लेक फ्लेक पीस अफ समिथिंग होर आइस को स्नो को हिउ को एटा साउंड रावा को साउंड में अर कई छेन सो द हर्स गिव्स अ सेक टू द बेल्स अफ इज रेन है रेन भाई हमें आर्यन रेन टू नो इफ द पोइट एज स्टूड दियर बाई सम मिस्टेक द वनली वदर साउंड दैट इज हर्ड इन द वुड्स विद दैट अफ द विन एंड इन स्नोफल दैट इज नो वदर साउंड द वनली द साउंड इज सफ्ट है विन सरी सफ्ट डाउनी सफ्ट डाउनी मीन्स सफ्ट नो आइस को स्नोफल को एंड स्नो को एंड इजी विन है वेरी वेरी विंड को आवाज आँच एंड द लास्ट टाइम जा द पोएम इज वेरी सीम्पल इज आई हेल्प अलग टोल यू दैर आर ओनली फोर स्टैंड जैज The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep. Okay. So the woods are beautiful, dark and deep to look at, but the poet, uh, the speaker, let's say speaker, he has to keep his promises, words. Okay. Uh, and uh, then he says uh, he has to reach, uh, he has to go. Many miles. He has to pass many miles to reach his destination before he goes to bed. It means this is the just this is the straight meaning. This is the let's say uh, superficial meaning of the stanza. But uh, the meaning, the deep meaning is that here the woods are lovely, dark and deep. Woods are the forest. Are uh, the forest? Let's say the forest is very lovely. The scene is very lovely. Dark means mysterious. Deep is also, you know, it means also difficult to understand. So it uh, the poet loves this scene very much. The poet uh, enjoys the scene scenario very much, but uh, he cannot stay there. He cannot wait there because he has some uh, promises. He has kept some words, okay, and his promises are there with him. So he remembers his. Words given to others, promises to others, and then he says he miles to go before I sleep, and miles to go before I sleep. These two lines, miles to go before I sleep, means here sleep means here not only uh, the sleep we have at night. Sleep means here final death, death of person. So miles to go means here we have uh, the poor, the speaker has a lot of duties, uh, responsibilities, obligation to his family members or to others. Before he he dies, so he cannot stay there. He cannot stay there long and enjoy the scenario. This means what? What do you mean? Poetly, so jungle, one day Ramrosa, one day Sundarsa, Rossi Moisa, there is Bujina Pani Khalkosa, there is Nehna Pani Khalkosa. So I will give you some promises. Maybe some support for me. Pratigya Arushan, I will give you some support for me. I will give you some support for me. Pratigya Arushan. एंड माइस टू गो भाई स्लिप म इसी सुन भाई पैला म इस इंजोय कर पैला म निदाऊन भाई पैला धीरे मेरे लमो यात्रा माइल्स टू गो धे लमो जानू जानू पर्ने 
अनि मास्टरको भाइ स्लिप र धेरै जानु पर्ने छ यसरी त पोएटले यहाँ निर ओके यस्तो यो चाहिँ सिम्बल मिनिङ सिम्पल खालको पोएम छ बट हामीले के भन्नु पर्छ भने यर द मिनिङ इज डिफरेन्ट वन हैन त्यसको द सेन्टर आइडिया इज डिफरेन्ट सो द यर दिस जर्नी इज अ जर्नी अफ लाइफ दिस इज अ जर्नी अफ लाइफ एन्ड इन आवर जर्नी वी ह्याभ सम लेट्स से मोमेन्टरी प्लेजर्स वी ह्याभ सम प्लेजर्स सम नाइस मोमेन्ट्स वी ह्याभ सम नाइस मोमेन्ट्स एन्ड दिस नाइस मोमेन्ट्स यर वुड्स रिप्रेजेन्ट द नाइस मोमेन्ट्स प्लेजेन्ट मोमेन्ट्स इन लाइफ इन आवर जर्नी आवर लाइफ इज अ जर्नी हाम्रो जीवन एउटा जर्नी हो यात्रा हो एन्ड वी ह्याभ सम अब्लिगेसन्स वी ह्याभ सम परमिसिस वी ह्याभ सम ड्युटिज एन्ड रेस्पोन्सिबिलिटिज टुवर्ड्स आवर फ्यामिली टुवर्ड्स आवर रिलेटिभ्स टुवर्ड्स आवर नेसन होइन हाम्रो आफ्ना हाम्रो जीवनमा हाम्रो जीवन एउटा यात्रा हो र हाम्रो जीवनमा केही हाम्रा लक्ष्यहरू उद्देश्यहरू छन् हाम्रो जिम्मेवारीहरू छन् कर्तव्यहरू छन् परिवारप्रति फ्याम होइन नातागोताप्रति अरू समाजप्रति देशप्रति सो यस्तो लाइफमा इन आवर लाइफ ओके लाइफ इज लङ लेट से एन्ड इन आवर लाइफ वी ह्याभ टु फेस अर वी ह्याभ सम नाइस मोमेन्ट्स ओके हाम्रो जीवनमा के रमाइला क्षणहरू आउँछन् के आनन्दका क्षणहरू आउँछन् त्यस्ता रमाइला क्षणहरूलाई हामीले त्यही क्षणमा अल्झेर बसौँ त्यसैलाई मात्रै इन्जोय गरेर बसौँ त्यसलाई छोड्न सकेनौँ भने कुनै पनि होइन हामीले कुनै पनि अवस्थामा अथवा हामीले कुनै पनि हालतमा त्यस्तो हाम्रो उद्देश्य लक्ष्य कर्तव्य पुरा गर्न सक्दैनौँ सो हामीले मर्नुभन्दा पहिला यार स्लिप भनेको एउटा फाइनल डेथ हो हाम्रो मर्नुभन्दा हाम्रो लाइफ इन हुनुभन्दा पहिला हाम्रो धेरै कर्तव्य छ धेरै जिम्मेवारी छ धेरै अपनत्वहरू छन् टुवर्ड्स आवर फ्यामिली हाम्रो परिवारप्रति टुवर्ड्स आवर कम्युनिटीप्रति टुवर्ड्स आवर पिपलप्रति टुवर्ड्स आवर नेसनप्रति टुवर्ड्स द वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड होइन संसारप्रति पनि हाम्रो आफ्ना जिम्मेवारीहरू छन् हाम्रो आफ्नो कसम खाएका छौँ हुन सक्छौँ हामीले आफ्नो परमिस गरेका हुन सक्छौँ र यस्तो परमिसहरू भुलेर हामी यस्ता मोमेन्टरी छेडिक आनन्दमा रमाउनु हुँदैन यहाँ उर्ज आर द अब्स्ट्याकल्स उर्ज आर द मोमेन्टरी होइन सर्ट प्लेजर्सहरू हुन् उर्ज आर द डिस्ट्र्याक्सनहरू हुन् ति भनेको अवरोधहरू हुन् लाइफ जर्नीमा हाम्रो एउटा डेस्टिनेसन पुग्नुपर्ने हाम्रो उद्देश्य लक्ष्यमा पुग्नुपर्ने यात्रा होइन हाम्रो लाइफको यात्रामा हामीलाई यस्ता खालका रमाइला क्षणहरू आउन सक्छन् त्यसै रमाइला क्षणमा भोलेर बसियो त्यसैमा रमाएर बसियो भने हाम्रो उद्देश्य लक्ष्य पुरा हुँदैन त्यस कारणले बिफोर डेथ बिफोर वी गो बिफोर आवर ए इन्ड लेट से वी ह्याभ टु फुलफिल आवर ड्युटिज वी ह्याभ टु फुलफिल आवर रेस्पोन्सिबिलिटिज एन्ड वी सु नट कि इन्जोय सच मोमेन्टरी प्लेजर्स वी सु नट कि पास आवर भ्यालुएबल टाइम जस्ट इन सच मोमेन्ट्स यसरी पोएटले इन दिस लेट्स ए पोएटले स्पिच पोएसले भनेर उसको मेसेजमा के छ भने वी अल ह्युमन बिइङ्स ह्याभ सर्टेन एम्स सर्टेन अब्लिगेसन्स सर्टेन ड्युटिज रेस्पोन्सिबिलिटिज टु आवर फ्यामिली टु आवर आवर कम्युनिटी टु आवर्स आवर नेसन टु आवर्स द वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड हाम्रा आफ्नै जिम्मेवारीहरू छन् हाम्रो आफ्नै कर्तव्यहरू छन् हाम्रो आफ्नै अभि अभि भाडाहरू छन् त्यस्ता कुराहरू आफ्ना प्रतिज्ञाहरू छन् त्यस्ता कुराहरूलाई भुलेर हामी यस्ता क्षणिक आनन्दमा रमाएर बस्यौँ भने हामी आफ्नो शपथ आफ्नो प्रतिज्ञा पुरा गर्न सक्दैनौँ त्यस कारणले द पोएटले फाइनलमा टू लाइन्सलाई रिपिटेसन गरेको छ फाइनलको लाइनमा माइस टु गा माइस टु गो बिफ आई स्लिप माइस टु गो बिफ आई स्लिप भनेको धेरै जानु छ म सुत्नुभन्दा पहिला यसको मिनिङ हुन्छ वी आर द पोएट होइन द स्पिकर ही ह्याज टु he must uh, ki fulfill his duties responsibilities premises to may, maybe to his family or to his relatives or to the uh, community before he dies yesari marnu bhanda pahila dherai garnu parne cha bhanne khalko yesma auncha meaning auncha so uh, ki uh, this poem is uh, is of special interest to the uh, to the people okay and uh, it uh, the meaning of the poem is Okay, very deep in the sense. Now, uh, let's do the exercise. So here, uh, find the words from the text that match the following meanings. An area of trees is smaller than a forest. This is called woods. Hey? Uh, small forest from the sun. Woods, we have already discussed. I have already told you. It's strange and unusual. 
queer, q u e r queer, I told you, strange or unusual. The main house on a farm usually where the farm lives. This is called farm house. A set of leather and metal pieces that is put around the body of horse. This is called here. Okay, I, I told you before here. Uh, this you can I will show you in you know, a harness. Hey? A set of a set of leather and metal pieces that is put around the body of horse. Uh, this harness. Moment of the year. Movement of the year. This is a uh, okay, uh, movement of the year. Uh, sweep, you know, S W E P sweep, and cover is something very soft. This is called downy, yes, D O W N downy. Now, exercise B, choose the correct answer. Why does the speaker stop while on the journey? Why does the speaker stop while on the journey? Here you can see, and uh, the answer is, I think it's, it's very clear for you. To us, the woods fill up with snow, okay? to us, the woods fill up, fill up with snow. Next one. What is the setting of the poem? Setting time and uh, time to and place to when you go setting this time and place. So, here uh, the time is uh, let's say you can see uh, village on okay, okay. Uh, the woods on a dark snow evening. See, this is the setting. The woods on a dark snow evening. This is the setting. Jungle man, uh, evening, snow evening man. See which of the which one of the following statements is true? Which one of the following statements is true? See here, uh, the woods are far from away from the village. The woods are near some houses. The owner of the house woods and speakers are friends. The speaker of the poem doesn't like the owner of the woods. Okay, here we can say the woods are far away from the village. We can see that this is the true statement here. Now, how did this horse? How did the horse respond when the speaker stopped there? Because the response is also. Okay. okay, here sugar is harness, you know, after logam life, harness like all now to check whether that is some mistake, you know, he shook his harness. I told you last, e, what does the mice to go before I sleep mean? So, speaker feels tired. Okay, here she okay, I thought the speaker has a lot of responsibilities to fulfill. This is the this means mice to go by sleep means the speaker has a lot of responsibilities, lots of duties. Obligation to fulfill, fulfill his before he dies. Okay? Life is a journey. Okay. Now let's uh, read this short summary of the poem, or let's uh, read the short text of the poem, uh, so that you find uh, the summary. This uh, uh, is the summary in short. So here we can fill up, uh, fill in the gaps with uh, appropriate words from the box to complete the summary of the poem. See, poor Mrs. Traveler, journey, death. Okay. I have I, as I have already told you, the poet compares human life with a journey. The poet compares okay human life with a journey. Here you can see a journey. The speaker of the poem is a traveler. You know the speaker, is, uh, speaker of the poem is a traveler. The speaker of the poem is a traveler. He has to reach his uh, destination. Gantapi. He has to reach destination before taking a rest. However, but. He is distracted by the momentary pleasures. Chhendi ka anandhor baara distracted hoonsa in the form of woods. Woods are their pleasure again. Okay? Yeah, woods is a, woods are very beautiful. You know, woods look very beautiful means woods are here. Uh, the they are obstacles in our journey. Okay? Uh, they are momentary pleasures. His companion, the horse friend, his friend horse reminds him of his what of his promises. Okay, promises some now here uh, the horse reminds him of his place uh, of his promises uska promises or words or some now cha apne jivan prati garne kartavya some now cha the speaker realizes that he has to fulfill many responsibilities before his death so this is the short summary of the point dear students